What up boys, it's Gaz, and welcome to the Warframe video. So today we're going to do a Riven nerf slash buff prediction video for Nezha Prime Access, which I'm assuming will come out in the next one to two weeks. Uh, and still to keep in mind, with this next Prime Access Riven Dispo Pass, this will be one of the first times they've been doing a disposition change on Sentinel Weapon Rivens. So that's going to be meaning like your Death Cube Prime Rifle, uh, the Sweeper Prime, all that kind of stuff. And just a clarification, if you don't know what disposition means for, for ribbons in this game, there's no better example than this right here. So as you see right here, we have a Corinth ribbon for the normal Corinth. 164% damage, all this other stuff. Now, if you if you put it on the Corinth Prime, it has lower stats. As you see right here, it fits in the Corinth Prime. It goes from 164% damage to 141% damage. 100, yeah, 164. Okay, so that means that on the Prime weapons, it will have lower stats. Uh, most of the time. Pretty much, I think, every situation it has lower stats. It's also going to apply to Kuva weapons as well. And basically, any kind of weapon that has a variant to it. So let's look at this Destrezza right here. It doesn't show the normal Destrezza. Okay, so I think you need to actually have the normal version to, to look at it. But um, here, let's just use the comb. Comb. Comb's a great example right here. So the, the Kuva comb has higher stats than the normal comb. As you see, like, I have about... 87% fire rate on the Kuva comb and 134% fire rate on the normal comb. So that's what we're talking. We're talking about is disposition. Numbers in the background multiplying the stats of these ribbons to get the card that you can actually equip and what actually works in mission. All right. So we're gonna get some gameplay on the screen. I'm gonna go over every weapon in the game uh, and just give a prediction if I think it will get nerfed or buffed. Because if you didn't notice, they they change the stats dependent on the popularity of the weapons. So uh, yeah, if the weapon's super super popular, like I don't know, the Rubico Prime. The Rubico Prime got nerfed a bunch of times in the Riven Department. And it now is very, very low compared to before. So we've got low stats like 67% multi-shot, 38% magazine size. So that one's got 69% multi-shot. Nice. Okay, let's get into it. I'm going to go over everything. Probably don't need to go over everything, but, you know, I, I feel like it. Okay, I feel like it. All right, so let's start. We're going to use Semlar.com to actually uh, go over all these stats because Semlar.com actually organizes these stats pretty nicely so you can see them all. All right, so we're going to start with rifles here. So, at the top of the disposition, flux rifle. Most likely not going to get nerfed. Has very high stats, but who cares? Harpack also not going to get nerfed in my opinion. Miter might get nerfed again cuz people use that for nullifier bubbles. It's relatively popular for popping nullifier bubbles. Milus Quanta, doubt it gets nerfed. It's not really used widely enough to actually consider nerfing it. Tetra as well. It, it honestly could use a buff, but it needs more than just a buff. There is a Prisma Tetra, to be fair. Death Machine Rifle, Death Machine Rifle Prime. I think these will get nerfed. P specifically, the Death Machine Rifle Prime. 1.46 Dispo uh, Rivens. That's really, really good for a Sentinel weapon. And I think it will get nerfed because it's never been nerfed before. And it's a pretty popular one. One of the best Sentinel weapons. Normal Burst. Like if it, for all these like normal version weapons, I probably won't even go over them. But there's the Prime versions. The Burst in Prime, it's it, it's not going to get a buff. It's not going to get a nerf. It's just going to stay the same, in my opinion. Buzzlock, uh, going to stay the same. Mark 1 Paris, going to stay the same. Prisma Tetra, they should buff it, but they're not going to buff it. So, yeah. Um, Normal Volcar. Attica is going to stay the same. There's no... They, unless they make an Attica Prime, like, no one's going to start using it more than they currently do. It's nice for sorties and all that. Uh, normal Hind... Okay, I'm just not going to go over the Normal Hind and Normal Dara kind of stuff. All right, Gorgon, Latron, Panthera. Panthera Normal definitely will not get a buff, but Panthera Prime got its ribbons crapped on. So, um... That's actually going to mean that you are probably going to get a Panthera Prime Dispo buff. Um, so, yeah, that's that's my prediction. Is Panthera Prime will get a maximum disposition buff, which I think the highest they buff it is like 1 point... Or not, not 1.5. It's about 0.25. Uh, so it would go from like whatever is at currently to uh, like 0.75, I, I suppose. So expect a buff to the Panthera Prime's ribbons. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so you can see... The uh, gameplay, I mean, this isn't super important, the window capture. I'll just put the gameplay bigger. Trust me, I'm going over every weapon that I feel like going over. Okay, we're at Panthera. Um, Paris, normal, not going to get buffed. Paris Prime, probably not going to get buffed. Quanta, Quanta Vandal, potentially could get a buff, but they're already really good with Rivens anyway, so I don't think they'll get another buff. Volcar Wraith, might potentially get a nerf. Some people start using it for Eidolon fights a little bit more. That would be really dumb if they nerfed the Eidolon fights uh, version of the Volcar Wraith, because it already it's probably the worst... Uh, 
Actually, I don't know. If, if, is the Snipetron <laughs> Wraith or Snipetron Vandal better than the Volcar Wraith for Eidolons? Let me know in the comments down below because I'm pretty sure that the Volcar Wraith it, it might be better than Snipetron. I, I haven't actually looked at the stats recently, but that's what I'm gonna I'm gonna guess. The Snipetron Vandal is worse than the Volcar Wraith for Eidos. Okay. Um, Normal Breton not gonna get a buff. Dara Vandal most likely not gonna get a buff. A lot of this stuff is probably not gonna get a buff. I think the Gracada might get a buff because DE likes buffing the Gracada. Um, Kuva Karak will most likely get a Riven nerf. Uh, because I'd say all Kuva weapons will most likely get a Riven nerf. Mule Cernos most likely getting a Riven nerf as well. Um, let's see what we got here. Stinger. Stinger is a Sentinel weapon. Uh, I don't. I think that will actually go up in Dispo because the Stinger is not very good. So expect that for a Sentinel weapon buff right there. Parasis, which is like a infested Halicar pretty much. They could buff it. Not like that's going to really change anything. Uh, Synapse potentially could get a nerf. But it might just stay the same because it's not extremely popular. It's not really doing anything. It's single target, unlike the Amprex and all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah. Uh, Glaxian and Glaxian Vandal, I'd expect those to get a just like get passed over. A lot of this stuff, I think, this will be passed over and not even touched. Uh, Hema might get a buff. Latron Prime could use a buff. It's single target. has terrible reload speed. But it's got the augment. Shut up. Uh, Nagantaka. Man, no, they, they just could buff this so much and people still won't use it. So they should buff that. Um, Prisma Gorgon, like we said, potentially could get a buff, probably not. Prisma Gorkata, they just like to buff the Gorkata ribbons, I've noticed. So they might buff that one again. It's not extremely popular. Sakura Pentuk potentially could get a nerf with more people using it for uh, mag bubble shenanigans. Uh, Normal Tonkor, who cares? Velt potentially could get a buff. It's, it's trying. Some people use it with ribbons, but it's still not very popular. As I said, Karak Wraith most likely will get a nerf to, to uh, ribbons. Breton Prime, Cernos Prime, I'd say both of those could potentially get a buff. Cernos Prime is really strong with a Riven, so that would be nice if they buffed it again. But yeah, Breton Prime is pretty forgettable. Nice slash status effects, I suppose. Uh, Daikyu most likely will not get a buff, but you know, I take that. Dread as well, I'd say these will just stay the same. When we get to the melees, it will make more sense what I'm talking about here. Galaxian Vandal, going to stay the same most likely. Maybe get a potential nerf. Prisma Grinlock, I'm going to say it's going to stay the same as well. Uh, potentially getting a small nerf just because more people have it because of Borrow now. Um, Severus, whatever. They could do anything to that. I wouldn't even care. Volklock, the sniper rifle for Diriga, which potentially could be the new prime with Diriga Prime. Uh, it's kind of hard to predict it with a Sentinel weapon, but I'm going to go ahead and say it will get a nerf because it actually hits relatively hard, although the fire rate is terrible. Prime laser, prime laser rifle, which I believe is the weapon for Worm. Worm Prime, I believe that's what it is. Uh, it's hard to predict these Sentinel weapons, like I said, but I could go with this one getting a, uh, a buff, because it's worse than a Death Machine Rifle Prime. Alright, uh, Dexabarus, whatever, Simulor, Zuge Prime, they should buff it. If they were smart, they'd buff it. Boltor Prime, I can see that getting potential buff, because it's a little bit outdated. Uh, Ferox, like, you don't even need a Ferox driven to make it work, but yeah, I can see that getting a buff, too. It actually, it is relatively popular, so maybe not a buff on that one. Scourge, uh, uh, I'd say that one stays neutral to maybe a little bit of a buff. Because people are using it more nowadays. Uh, Zar, I wish they'd buff it, but I don't even think a Zar Riven buff would really help it too much. But uh, yeah, they could they could definitely buff that one. I wouldn't be surprised. Now these are very weirdly organized. We go in alphabetical order and then there's just like new weapons at the bottom. Alright, Bosmu, I'm just going to go buffer uh, nerf. Bosmu buff, Comorex buff. Uh, Strat of our Prime buff, I guess. That's a hard one to predict. Probably stay the same, actually. Zenith nerf. Batacore buff. Uh, Vectus most likely nerf, unfortunately. And here's some Sentinel weapons. Atrax buff. That's the cold procker. Cryotra. Potential nerf, because that's a really good CO procker. Hellstrom. Please buff. <laughs> please. I want 100% minus impact on my Hellstrom ribbon. Kuva Hind. Uh, ooh, that's a hard one to predict. I want to say small buff. Because it's not AoE. But it's really good, though. Uh, Kuva Cortac. Potential nerf. Because it is relatively popular. It's really good, too. So, we'll see. Hopefully it doesn't get uh, nerfed. Moltron, which is just a random generic. Uh, Sentinel weapon. Buff. Optical Vandal. Most likely nerf. But they should buff it. Because it's it staggers you now. <laughs> Quellor buff. I'm going to predict that one. Soma Prime. Nerf, probably. because No, not a nerf. Maybe a stay the same. Because they actually... Uh, we gotta go faster on this. All right, Soma Prime, stay the same. Uh, Baza Prime buff, Kuva Tonkor buff, Kuva Ogres buff, Lens buff, 
Lanka buff. Super Vandal buff. Actually, Super Vandal n- neutral or uh, nerf. Kuva Chaker nerf. Shadu nerf. Tiburon Prime stay the same. Vectus Prime nerf. Uh, Amprex probably staying the same. It's 0.7, relatively low stats. Stalta, hopefully they buff it. It's still inconvenient to use. Exaltra nerf. Kuva Brahma nerf. Fulman nerf. Uh, Rubico Prime, they might go, they might finally do it and just nerf it to the bottom dispo, but. And it'll be sad. Ignis Wraith will stay the same. Panther of Prime and Trumna will get bu- uh, buffs, probably. Maybe not Trumna. Some people don't think that Trumna will get buffed. Let's move on to secondaries. Actually, let's move on to melees. Who cares about secondaries? Um, okay, Amphis. Th- this one's important, guys, because now that people were farming Ophelia, Kuva, uh, Kuva Basement so much, that means stat sticks became a lot more popular on the usage charts. So I'm going to go ahead and just say it. Stat stick dispositions will most likely get a nerf across the board. That means most high dispo melee weapons will most likely get a nerf. That's a prediction, like I said. Don't take that as like a complete fact, but they people have started using them a lot more. So we see these high dispo weapons like Amphis. Amphis, 100% is getting a dispo uh, nerf. It's at 1.5. It's the highest dispo of any uh, melee weapon in the game, and it's used as a stat stick very commonly on Korra. So that will mo- that will definitely get a nerf. I mean, I'm willing to bet money on that getting nerfed. Ether daggers. Uh, it's not very popular, but like I said, most high-dispo weapons will most likely get a nerf here in the melee department. So expect nerfs to most of this stuff. Um, yeah, and like some things that might dodge it. Potentially the Plasma Sword. Potentially the Heat Sword. Maybe Dual Sky... Like some of these, some of the stuff that actually totally sucks might not get nerfed, but I'm, I'm going to hold my breath. I have a couple backup uh, Rivens for if, if the Jaw Sword gets nerfed, which it most likely will. Uh, the ribbon disposition, that is. I have a couple of backup stat sticks, and I recommend that you do as well. Um, I'd say some safe ones, like I said, Plasma Sword, Heat Sword, uh, Dual Skana, things that like no one in their right mind would actually use, besides for a stat stick, because that probably wouldn't make the usage charts too high. And keep in mind, this Pangolin Sword right here is the normal Pangolin Sword, not the Pangolin Prime. All right, so expect most of this stuff to get nerfed. Um, we've got the Mark I Fur- like stuff like this. The Mark I Furix, that would probably be, yeah, if you use the Mark I or the normal version of it, they, that potentially could bypass them nerfing it. So I say Mark I Furyx is is safe. Machete might be safe. Kestrel sucks. Right, uh, safe. So just just be smart about it, okay? But let's move on to some actual weapons down here. There's a Prisma Machete. Oh my gosh. Um, that must be on some other version of the game. All right. So where are the actual weapons? Those are all stat six at the top. Machete Wraith is kind of an actual weapon. That will probably stay the same. Maybe get a Machete Wraith ribbon. Kogake Prime... Who, who, who even remembers that exists? I hardly remember that exists. Jawsaw will most likely get a nerf. Expect most dispos on those stats to get nerfed. Um, all right. Prova, no. The Ripkas will probably just stay... Th- Honestly, a lot of these are hard to predict because, like... Actually, the Ripkas will probably get nerfed because people are using it as dismemberment statistics nowadays. Uh, Bow Prime... Everyone's like, oh, it's so good. It's not so good. <laughs> it's like a... St- okay, first off, staff weapons aren't very good to start off with. And... It's, like, mostly impact-focused. It has high dispo on ribbons, but whatever. It doesn't really change anything. The Bow Prime could use a buff, I'd say. Actually, the weapon itself could use a buff. The ribbons don't even need a buff, really. Just buff the actual weapon. Um, all right, let's see what we got here. Uh, singular Crokier. I heard this is really good. That will probably just stay the same or get nerfed. Prova Vandal. Better buff it, because it sucks. Siber. Eh. Eh, <laughs> it's actually kind of okay. Uh, Volnus might actually get a buff. That would be good, because that thing needs a ne- negative impact ribbon to be like a slash monster. Cost assist, please buff it. I actually like it, but I don't know. Like, It's actually pretty good, so maybe it will just stay the same, actually. Um, Fang Prime, probably get a nerf on the ribbons, because it's more popular now. And it's actually good now. Uh, Meyer is a lower disposition stat stick that people use, so they might nerf that. Um, Alright, let's just move on past some of this stuff. Sheev, probably going to get a buff to 300 dispo. Um, Teko Prime, they could probably nerf that one, I'm guessing. it. Not, actually, no, no, no one really uses the Teko Prime, I've noticed. So maybe they'll just keep it the same or buff it. Um, Cobra and Kane, wow, I forgot that existed. Deconstructor Prime, that's a uh, Sentinel Riven. I don't really know. People, You mostly use a Deconstructor Prime as a stat stick for your melees, so they probably won't even touch that. If they do, like, whatever. Who even cares? Um, let's see what else we got here. Gunson, they could use a buff on that one. 
Karudo, please buff that again. That's that's a fun weapon, but they could definitely buff that. Uh, let's see what else we got here. The Crunch, this is potentially a good stat for Korra in the future, so keep an eye on that one. Sindo Prime needs a big ribbon buff, so buff that thing. Tipido Prime also needs a big ribbon buff. Buff those both. Twin, Co uh, Twin Croak here, I can see that getting a nerf. I'd say a lot of the dual swords might get a nerf because they're pretty popular nowadays. Um, Glaive Prime, kind of forgettable. Maybe they'll buff it. Archititron potentially could get a nerf. It's pretty strong, let's be honest here. They could definitely nerf that. Hate will most likely get a nerf as well, guys. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Keep an eye on that one. Rob V. Riven probably get a buff again. Um, let's see. Skana Prime kind of get a nerf just to rub it in the face of the founders. Wolf Sludge could potentially get a buff. Dual Icker hopefully gets a buff. Um, Dual Kamas Prime. That's actually that's normal, normal Dual Kamas. Dual Kamas Prime should get a big Dispo buff because it's still just a worse version of the Nami Skyla Prime. Oma probably getting a buff. Destroys our Prime most likely getting a buff. Dakar Prime most likely getting a neutral or a, a nerf. Jet Kusar, please buff it. I, the thing is, Jekusar only is really used by endurance runners, and I've noticed. Like, not a lot of people are just running it or rocking it usually. So, Jekusar potentially could get a buff because it's not very popular. Ninkandi and Dual uh, Cleavers, Prisma Dual Cleavers. Uh, it's kind of hard to call that one. Prisma Dual Cleavers already got buffed a couple times in the last couple of dispo passes, so it would be nice if they buffed it again, but I'm not holding my breath on it. Uh, Broken War probably get another buff, which would be great. As I said, Dual Combat is probably getting a buff, potentially. Sudi Lacera probably getting a buff just because Megan really likes it. Uh, Fragor Prime. Uh, it might honestly get a nerf. It, it might. The Fragor Prime might get a nerf, but we'll see. They buffed it last time, so who knows? I think a lot of people just use like the. Okay, so here we go. Cronin Prime and Graham Prime. Mega nerf. They're getting nerfs. There's no way, guys. There's no way it doesn't get nerfed again this time. So a lot of people are trying to sell these ribbons for these weapons already. It probably isn't happening in like two weeks, okay? Just letting you know. Uh, okay, let's see. You got Nami Sky the Prime potentially getting a nerf as long as well as the Pangolin Prime. I think these will both get nerfs as well as the Reaper Prime. All three of these, I think they will get nerfs. Sylvan Aegis Prime potentially could get a nerf as well. It's a pretty popular weapon, very powerful. Uh, Saber Noctantis, eh, whatever. I don't actually use that thing anymore. Uh, Harudo potentially get a buff. Tatsu could get a buff. Anorax will probably get another buff. Zenistar will probably get another buff. But those weapons definitely need ribbons to be good. Uh, Bala and Syath most likely getting neutral to... Bala might get a nerf, honestly, because those daggers are really strong. Skiajadi and the Venka probably will get buffs. The Venka Prime is not on here. We'll check, take a look at that in a second. War will most likely get a huge buff to the Ribbons, guys, because the War is an impact rate sword. Uh, Pennant will probably get a nerf again. Redeemer Prime will definitely get a nerf again. Venka Prime potentially could get another buff. That would be great. The Venka Prime Dispo buff was really nice last time. They just randomly nerfed the Dokram Zaw Ribbons, so that will probably happen again. Kuba Shell Deck will definitely get another nerf. Uh, Play Kiwar, Sepfon, Parasesis, Galatine Prime, Lesion, Play Kripath, Orthos Prime, Karas Prime, Karatinos, uh, Nikana Prime, Quasis, Strofa, Azorus. I think all these ones down here at the bottom will either get a tiny, tiny little buff or stay the same. The Zorus specifically should get a big buff because the Zorus is useless now. Worst stat stick in the game. Strofa will stay the same. Quasis will probably get a small buff. It definitely is really good now that they changed all the bugs with it. Um, Caratinos could use a big buff on those Rivens. Nikana Prime doesn't really need a Riven, so it probably will stay the same. Karas Prime will definitely get a small buff, at least. And Orthos Prime, it could use a small buff as well. Play Kripath, I think they'll keep it down here, how low it is, as well as this other stuff. All right, do we want to do pistols? I think we're all... I'm going to go... I'm going to breeze over the, the, the pistols I care about. We're not going to go over the majority of those terrible pistols that no one even cares about. Okay. Let's see what we got here. I think that the... The Cuban Nucor will definitely get a nerf. There's no way it doesn't. 100% there's no way it doesn't get nerfed. Prisma Burst Laser. That's a good stat stick for a, uh, Evaporate, or whatever it's called, um, ability on uh, Disintegrate. That's what it's called, on Death Cube. That might get a nerf, but honestly, it's a Sentinel weapon. Like, why would they nerf those? Uh, Spectra Vandal. Eh? <laughs> Maybe? It's already really high dispo stats, so it, whatever, honestly. Whatever on that one. Singular Bronco Prime will probably get a Dispo nerf, but who actually cares? Um, what else we got down here? Fusilai could potentially get another Dispo buff. That would be nice. Um, Lado Vandal, that would be a nice little buff right there. Singular Stubba could get a nice buff. Ek Bronco Prime could use a nice Dispo buff as well. Despair, please buff it. Prisma Angstrom, please buff it. Sakura Dual Sestra. Uh, kind of a hard one to predict, but they might buff it. 
I don't know. It's, some of the stuff is just like me guessing, obviously. Most of it is me just guessing. Azima will most likely get a buff because it's a underutilized weapon, which actually is kind of fun. Uh, Haku Prime, that will get a buff most likely. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> they just decide not to buff a lot of this stuff uh, sometimes. The Twin Comac, please buff it. That would be great. I have an amazing Twin Comac Riven. I would love for that to get buffed. The Zocti is so outdated and nerfed that they should buff it. They should. It staggers you now. But they probably won't. Um, Zylock, please buff that as well. Zylock is a meme. Occupor, Plinks, potentially buff. The Plinks is good. The Rivens, so they might just keep it the same. Spira Prime might get a Riven buff as well. Um, Hysterix could use a Riven buff. Prisma tw uh, Twin Gremlins could use a Riven buff, but they probably won't. Quats might get a Riven buff. Um, there's a lot of pistols in this game, aren't there? Arca Cisco could use a Riven buff. Pandero probably will stay the same or get a little bit of a buff. There will be most likely be a Pandero Prime this winter. Sycorus Prime potentially could get a nerf. We'll see. Ekvolto Prime, I think they should buff that. Vacor Merlock, I think they should buff that. Kuga Kraken will probably get a nerf or stay the same. It's 1.05, not super high, honestly. Um, and it, I mean, it's a Kuva weapon. The Kuva weapons in general just aren't most, most likely not going to get buffed. Athodai will most likely get a nerf. Axamati Prime will most likely get a nerf. Um, Kuva Steer probably going to get a nerf. Gaze Kit Gun probably can stay the same. Kuva Brock will most likely get a nerf. Kuva Twin Stubbas. They might buff it. They probably won't, though. Ak Jagra Prime, definitely going to get a nerf. Uh, Aklax Prime, probably going to get a buff. Atomos, who cares? The Kuva Nucor exists. Um... Euphona Prime, they should buff it, in my opinion. Rattle Guts will probably stay the same. Kuba Nucor, it will most likely go down to 0.5 Dispo with the Zymos guys. It will most likely have bottom Dispo after this pass. Tomb Finger, they might nerf that one too. Axolotl Prime, I think this will get a big buff. Axolotl Prime will get a big Dispo buff, in my opinion. Pyrona Prime will stay low. Uh, Staticor might get like a rounding to like, like 0.55 or a little bit of a buff. It's still AoE, and they don't like AoE. So Polkrum and Zymos will get buffs. I think Zymos will get a bigger buff than Sepulchrum, and Catch Moon will stay bottom tier. All right, guys. That was the video. Hopefully you found it helpful. Um, that was a lot of talking, and a lot of it was just like, yeah, they're going to buff that one. They might not, but I like to predict this stuff. I think the biggest things that will get hit here are going to be your meta weapons, obviously, and things that will get buffs are those weapons they release with .5 Dispo. Like uh, the Zymos. Zymos will most likely get a huge buff here. Same with the Caratinos. Because Caratinos is like okay. But it, the Venka Prime is better. So we'll see. I'll talk to you guys next time. Take it easy. Peace.